In this video, I'm going to quickly go through the migration process for Exodus 20 NFTs. Before we start, one thing to keep in mind. Anyone can upgrade an NFT to the Exodus 20 standard, but only the minter, aka the creator, can assign royalties to each NFT. Now, let's begin. For this example, I'm using the devnet and I have previously minted a few NFTs. As you can see, a couple of them are already XLS20, so I'm going to use this one to showcase the process. You simply go into the NFT page. If you're the owner, you will see the convert to XLS20 button. So all you have to do is click on it and proceed to confirm that you are going to destroy the XLS14 version of the NFT because there cannot be duplicates on the ledger. Then, right off the bat, if you were the minter of this NFT, you can directly assign a percentage of royalties you wish to receive every time this NFT is sold. And that's it. As you can see, the migration process is extremely easy and fast, and it doesn't incur in any additional costs. Now, let's take a look at the new minting dashboard. On top of the page, you can see your unminted collections, meaning the ones that you haven't sealed yet, and you can still edit. Up next, you can see the collections you've already minted, view the details, and add new NFTs to each one of them, which is one of the features that come along with XLS20. And that's it. Stay tuned for more updates and demos. We left an Easter egg in this video, and the first person to find it will receive 100 solo tokens. Good luck.